listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. Inspiration for you as you walk by abounding faith, hope, and love, and live your God-given dreams. Welcome to episode 46 of the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I'm your host, Nancy Gavilanes, and I'm so delighted to be here with you today. Thanks so much for joining me wherever you're listening to this episode. I'd love to know whether you're listening to this this month, September 2023, or sometime in the future. Please feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to know also what platform you're listening from. Today, I am saying welcome to fall, and I'm sharing some September reflections as well as some exciting writing news. So as I mentioned, it's the beginning of fall, and I so enjoy this season. I enjoy new seasons. I enjoy this weather. I enjoy this time of the year. And I tend to get nostalgic around this time of the year. September is the anniversary of when God chased me down in Sydney, Australia. I've written about it in many of my books and also some of the articles that I've written. So I hope you'll check those out. I'm also writing about it in my upcoming book, but we'll get to that in a moment. So this September marks the seventh year of attending Times Square Church in person and online. What a blessing that is. And this month marks nine years since I won Our Daily Bread's writing contest for readers in September 2014. So I'm looking back with so much gratitude, but I'm also looking ahead with so much hope. So as I mentioned, I'm reflecting on the past, but I'm also looking ahead to the future and I have some exciting writing news to share with you. So first, I hope by now you know that I'm one of the newest authors for Our Daily Bread's devotional. I'm so excited. It's been a long journey. I've talked about it and I've written about it. This past summer included a lot of writing, including many articles for upcoming Our Daily Bread devotional. So I'm so excited to share that my first articles, God willing, should be running in the main Our Daily Bread devotionals starting May 2024, so mark your calendars. They work way in advance, but I'm so glad that I can give you a heads up that God willing, next May, you'll start seeing some of my articles in those lovely Our Daily Bread devotionals that you can find in churches, in schools, in hospitals, in different parts of the community. You can also find their devotionals online and on their app. So there's many ways that you can read these articles and in many different languages. So more information to come. Stay tuned. And then I have exciting news about what I've been calling book six, but now I can finally reveal the title. And I share the cover reveal on my blog and my social media. So I hope you'll check that out. Help me celebrate the upcoming release of God Given Dreams. I've been working on it all throughout the year, and I'm excited to say that it's in the production stage and we'll be heading into final edits very soon. I'm getting great feedback from my editors, marketing team, and my endorsers. And I'm so delighted and thrilled and honored to be writing this book with the NavPress Tyndale Alliance. And it's going to release on March 5th, 2024. God willing, March 5th, 2024. Circle that in your calendar next March this book is going to be released. So I hope you'll pray that it will minister to many women near and far. And I'm excited to announce that it's already available for pre-order. So whenever you're listening to this, you can go ahead and find God-given dreams on different sites, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble's website, Books A Million, ChristianBook.com, Nav Press's website, it should be up soon, Tyndale's website, it also should be up there soon, and Walmart's website. So wherever you buy your books, please take a moment after you listen to this podcast, while you're listening to it, to stop and pre-order this book for you and your loved ones and any community groups and nonprofits and churches or libraries that you can think of. Pre-orders are so important in the publishing world. It shows publishers that books like God-Given Dreams matter. So I hope you will order God-given dreams today, and you'll be one of the first to receive it once it launches next March. You'll also be showing the publishing world that there's a need and desire for books written by Christian Latina authors like myself. I so appreciate your prayers and support. I'm looking forward to sharing so many more details with you as we get closer and closer to March 5th, 2024. So I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming 
updates. So I'm wondering, are you part of my email community? Well, also, have you subscribed to this podcast so you don't miss any new episodes? But also, are you part of my email community? When you join my email community, you'll get updates about my upcoming book as well as other projects I'm working on and encouragement sent straight to your inbox. So I'll place a link to where you can sign up for my email community in the show notes. Isn't it nice that there's so many ways that we can be connected? So along with this podcast, you can also check out my website, aboundingfaith.com, as well as you can find Abounding Faith on social media. But since there's always so many changes going on with social media, email is still one of the best ways to stay connected. So I hope that you'll join my email community. And I hope that you'll help me celebrate and rejoice. You know, rejoice is my one word for this year. And God really has given me lots of reasons to rejoice. I hope that you're having a wonderful year. I hope that you're having a wonderful start of the fall season. And as I say, let's see what God has in store next, right? Okay, so let me pray for you. It's been a delight to be here with you today as always. So Father God, we thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Father, for everyone listening, whether they're near or far, and whether they're listening right now in this month or down the line. I pray that you would touch them, bless them, and fill them with your love and your peace and your joy. I pray that they would know how much you love them, that you would just continue revealing your love for them. And I thank you, Father, for every single listener who is also cheering me on and praying for me and who will be blessed by this new book and for those who will be showing their support by buying God-given dreams for their friends and family. I thank you for your love, your joy, your peace, and I thank you that we can look at the past and see all that you've brought us through and also we can look ahead to the future with hope and with promise because you are faithful and you're the same. Jesus, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God, you never change. And you know the end from the beginning. So you are with us at the beginning of the year and also as we're winding down this year in particular. I thank you that you are with us and you see way in advance. You know what you have in the future. And I thank you that we can trust you and that you bless us and you keep us and that we're in the palm of your hands. So we thank you and we ask this all in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Well, thank you, friends. And until next time, God bless. You've been listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. For more encouragement on your faith journey, visit AboundingFaith.com and follow Abounding Faith on social media.